your expectation of the group that you're going to be dealing with, the receivers, but then what do you need to bring to them, do you feel like? Just mindset, mentality. First of all, you know, I, my, my objective, my plan with that, with, the, with that room was so much talent in there. Bring everybody together, create a family, create a brotherhood atmosphere where we all in it together. Not where we we are competing against each other, you know, spots, but at the same time, we all doing it for each other. Uh, I may be going with the ones, but I may be supporting the guy going with the fours. I may be going with the threes, and maybe supporting the guy that's going with the twos. So that thing kind of cycles. Uh, I thought our skills and drills over the summer and our player led meetings was awesome for us. Every week, uh, what I want to do in that receiver room, I want to sign a new teacher every week. Um, with those guys, take pride in what we're doing and feel important to the room. So uh, you go through the whole room and, and you 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 build uh, trust from everybody. Uh, if that one room come together and I'll do it together, I think we can be pretty solid and collectively. How did that the teacher a week? How did how did that work? What did you have the guys do in those rooms? Well, you know, uh, we review on installs. Yeah. You know, so uh, emulate simulate the coach. You know, so. Certain weeks, that guy, he's the actual coach going through installs, speaking terminology, what's expected, responsibility, our depth, our splits, our landmarks, what's the thought process of that exact play, signals, and just being the teacher for that room, answering questions. At the same time, it helps those guys uh, absorb everything that we're doing also, too. Do you have anybody that you thought, well, this guy's coming after my job in a few years? Uh, you got to watch out for uh, Coach uh, LV. You know, he's pretty <laughs> okay. solid. You know, He worked every camp this summer. He did a great job, man. Every young man that came through here, they're a big fan of LV just because of what he did this summer. You know, so when I talk to those guys, those guys would start talking about who's going to be the dude this year. And, and my question, I, I asked that question right back to those guys. What do you think? You know, so LV, coach, I like LV. You know, he's very funny on the side, did a good job of, of um, teaching and explaining the drill and demonstrating. You know, so I'm expecting him to do great things, coach. Skill set. Jeff was saying that. You guys are really going to like Jaquez once he kind of gets oh, going yeah. there. Oh, just, yeah. What did you see from this summer, and what, what does he bring to that table? Uh, he just brings that same leadership that he brought uh, from his high school uh, down in Houston. Uh, you paid attention while he's running track. You know, he, he's a big motivator, you know, encourager. Uh, that's the exact kind of teacher and coach I am. I like to motivate and encourage at the same time, challenge, you know, bring everybody together. Uh, but just got a, a skill set where you're going to play all five positions at the receiver spot. Uh, should be great for us, the special teams also too. He comes in physically ready to go, mentally ready to go. And from day one, what I noticed um, from him this summer, he was vocal when it came to anything that was related to conditioning. I told him, like Coach V I always say, leadership has no age, you know, so nobody is motivating, nobody's encouraging. I expect you to do it. These older guys not doing it, I expect for you to do it. It can't be Drake every day. You know, Drake is not going to be here forever. Somebody has to take a baton off. Coach, where are you talent-wise compared to other places that you've been? Uh, it's like, it, it seemed like you was at my house last night. My wife asked me the same as that question. Uh, collectively, I think this is probably one of the uh, most elite groups I've ever been around. I kind of compare those guys to the time I was around Grant Batson, QT, all those, all those guys together, but your Derek Willies. Then my time at Kansas, my first year at Kansas, I had uh, Kwame Lasseter there, Andrew Parchman, those guys were very talented. Uh, so I think those guys are cut from that same tree. You know, I'm uh, just waiting to see the results. But what I've been seeing from spring up until now, uh, as far as learning and picking up what we're doing and adjusting to my style as coaching, it's probably one of the fastest groups to do it. So I just think collectively, you know, we got a chance to be an elite together. Well, so at some you, point, so the alpha will emerge. So, so the general thought that uh, you know you lost a bunch of guys and you don't have the emerging one, especially you, you don't buy that. No, I don't. I, matter of fact, I like it like this. I like for people to look at their room and say, uh, you know, we might be down in that receiver position in that, in that receiver room. So, yeah, we may smile and we hear it, but once we get in that classroom and shut that door, you know, you know that's, that, that's a chip on our shoulder when it comes to learning and being great. You know. Those guys didn't resist nothing. The 25,000 children catches this summer, those guys ate it up. We have multiple guys in that room. We have 16, 17 receivers in there, probably 12 to 14 caught well over 21,000. Some surpassed 25K, you know, so I didn't have to stand around and watch those guys do that. The only thing I did was just remind them and, res and, 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 and review the chart when they inputted their numbers. And, you know, I, that was a thing of beauty to me. You know, those guys took pride in that, you know, so I think we're in great shape.
Coach, on, on paper it feels like you've got a bucket of speedsters, Andrew Algequez, Brennan, some bigger body guys, Nick, uh, JJ. Like, is that how you kind of see it? Do you want to be able to mix and match the so that you can throw out any kind of wide receiver? Right on. You know, playing on playing alone. Uh, you know, man. You didn't say Gibson. You know, when you look at the GPS numbers, that's one thing I reviewed last week. I looked at the GPS numbers from all summer. You know, Gibson names keeps popping up, keeps popping up. 21, 20.9, 20.8, 20.8. Well, he can run also, too. You know, so we have a unique group. And then when you ask those wide out, when you ask those wide outs to break down every guy individually, the first thing they say about Andrea, fast, coach. Uh, the first thing they say about Petaway is twitchy, sudden, explosive. Uh, then there's Farouk, you know, just get the ball in his hands, you know. Uh, that's Percy Harvin out there with the ball in his hands. So it's up to us to make sure he's touching a rock. You know, he kind of guy he want to touch early. He want to get down and dirty early. He want to get physical. So uh, that's up to us as teachers and coaches to make sure he does it. He's, he does that, you know, uh, because he pretty much did everything we asked him to do this summer, uh, on and off the field. So, yeah, that's the way you want to build. You want to be big at times. You want to be strong at times. You want to have a combination of, all types of skill sets. Sometimes you just want all speed out there. Coach, you've had a ton of success on the recruiting trail your first few months on staff at Oklahoma. What do you chalk that up to more so than anything else? Probably just the time uh, being around high school guys for 14 years in a city, uh, being at a program where you know you attract the kids to come to your program, not recruiting players, but attracting players to come to your uh, come to your school, transferring from all across the city. And that's just relationships. Not really selling nothing, but just being genuine, honest, and uh, just you know, just creating that vision for families. Um, and at the same time, you know, you know what areas you need to invest in. Fertile grounds, I believe in investing into fertile grounds, uh, and that's all the way from Pop Warner all the way up. You know, so if I need to show attention to a Pop Warner program from a certain area in the city or a certain area in the state, I do that. You know, and wherever I'm needed, uh, I try to be there for those guys. Because so I, I remember the guys that was there for me as a high school coach and, uh, and I always want to keep those guys on my side. I never want to create enemies uh, when it comes to uh, recruiting players. And do you think your uh, philosophy as a recruiter has evolved, changed over the years? I assume you're probably not the same recruiter you were when you first got started. You just got to know you know what you're dealing with. Know what lake you're fishing at, know what type of fish you're trying to catch. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you got to adjust on the go. Uh, they're not going to adjust to you. Not this day and age. You got NILs now, you know, so you, know, you have if it's me, you know, with the NILs, I don't care what school I'm at. You know, I feel like I can recruit against anybody with the way recruit is going now because it's all legal. As long as I have me a collective group backing me and a solid program, you know, I feel like I can recruit against anybody. Now with this logo and everything that we have, uh, I don't want to say it makes it easy, it make makes things easier, but it kind of puts you in the door.